canyon. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> uh, We accidentally brought like loads of onions. <laughs> Quite an onion in there. We've been there uh, talking about how much weight we've brought with us. <laughs> we only had like nearly a kilo of rice. Uh, you know, possibly three quarters of a kilo of onions. <laughs> uh, there's so many extra. My eyes look really puffy. Um, I don't think I'm actually unwell. I think <laughs> I've just been around a fire a lot the past two nights, and uh, maybe that to do with not sleeping that well. That's given me quite big bags under my eyes. So. I think it is day five <laughs> and uh, it's going to be our first day of serious rain for uh, at least four hours of it um, so we're just getting ourselves mentally and physically prepared <laughs> and how confident are you feeling honey uh, the sky doesn't look as wet as I thought it would so I'm quite happy it's quite a positive yeah. outlook you got there yeah, I'm gonna keep yeah. eating the hopes of there being like a cute little permit breaker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say, come out of Merthyr to get back on the Route 8. Hopefully it's just going to be a big path now for ages. Stop for a little breather. They closed it up 66 years ago and people started dumping cars in it. Hello? Uh, it's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> it's just a giant flood. Ooh, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really creepy. The cars must be put in on the other side because I can't see any cars. It's really wet. I find it's a mile and a quarter. Some parties might have been had in here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jack, found a steering wheel. Yeah. I want to see the cars though. Do we can we get to see the other side of the tunnel? I don't know. Or do you have to go for a walk? We finally put Mercer behind us. And it's our first rainy day. We liked Mercer, it was nice. Mercer, <laughs> Mercer was lovely. We needed a break and we needed a solar charger. <laughs> and uh, Zeb is strictly in the trailer for a day or two until his um, claws gain a little bit of length back. But, uh, but yeah, because it's a wet day, Coral's got the tent. I've got the sleeping bags in a wet bag on the front, on the back. <laughs> I've also got a wet bag in there and a wet bag on the front. But yeah, it's beautiful up here. Absolutely beautiful. And we've got a tiny little bit of downhill. Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Balancing the <laughs> time. So, two o'clock, lunchtime. <laughs> Having a nice little snack. Zeb's just finished his food as well. He's kind of looking like he wants more. I know. Oh, bless him. Well, maybe we'll go a bit longer and you can have an early dinner. Oh yeah, we're thinking the truck might be...
bir şeklinde. Little windy. Doesn't like when we stop. I know. <laughs> but pretty high up. We're hoping up here it's the peak. Google Maps says we should be nearly done with that uphill for the day. <laughs> Aiming for oh, I forgot the place again. Trigar. Now I've got a view, a little bit. It doesn't do it justice. No. <laughs> and some raindrops. Oh, we've added more luggage as well. <laughs> we bought a ground sheet thing. <laughs> Go, Jackie! <laughs> you always seem to have different luggage on the front of your bars. <laughs> yeah. Can it get a little tiny bit wet with something? <laughs> no, you just filled the screen beautifully. So, day six. Six. It doesn't feel like six days. It feels like it's gone all too quickly. Bit, yeah. Mm. But yeah, day six. Um, we've covered over 60 miles at least, but um, on the route. So we decided to pay for cheap campsites because it's actually a lot easier than yeah. slogging all that stuff up any hills. We, we will wild camp when the uh, situation arises. You always have but to go up hills though. <laughs> we learnt our lesson. We ended up having to go a good two miles up of a hill off route to actually get to somewhere that was quiet enough. And so that was an extra four miles. <laughs> But I would say we've easily done, without exaggerating, 15 to 20 miles extra. Um, and that's like easily. Um, so we're probably actually up to more like 80 miles, which brings our daily average up to something a bit more reasonable. But, uh, but we're getting more into the swing of it. We did kill ourselves a bit on the first day. And we're only but... paying 15 quid for a campsite, by the way. That's yeah, much... it's not too bad. It is nice to have shower. It has been the really nice, nice to get up a bit. I'd be bit sad if I hadn't been showering. Refreshed. <laughs> and with the drizzle, it's been nice to have the tent while we make a coffee, get everything ready, and then quickly pack down and go, rather than having to get up at the crack of dawn, get the tent down, pack the bags, then make a coffee under a little shelter. So there are bonuses to campsites, obviously. Um, yeah, when you're wild camping, you have to ideally set up quite late and leave quite early. Since today, we've camped up at five o'clock. We got everything nice and set up, packed. Pretty much, you know, this is, we don't unpack too much because we've got to pack up in the morning, but you know, all the food bags out and ready to cook. And, uh, and we've got a little rain shelter and that was all done by like half five and then the rain started and it was just like wow that's lovely. My dog's asleep. He stayed in the trailer for like the whole time today. Yeah, 18 miles in the trailer 
and uh, a lot of it was uphill and there was a few times I was like this is really steep I might let him out but kept him in anyway for the for his own good and uh, yeah but managing 18 miles pushing the dog yeah there's definitely quite a lot of pushing involved as well not just cycling <laughs> as uh, as Coral has testament and videos too <laughs> Ah. Well, we'll catch up with you soon. Don't have any bed. Just approaching the church at Abaedu. Gorgeous little village. <laughs> the lady just walking down there with her dog stopped and had a chat with us and said we have to go in. And I was just saying about this gorgeous view and mentioned that we live near Nevin. And uh, she immediately was like, oh, the bleeding you. Yes. But absolutely blown away by the entrance to this church. I've uh, no idea how old this woodwork is at the moment, but I'm definitely going to try and find out. It's uh, certainly quite weathered. Hi. <laughs> I think I can see a cave. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Dwelling coat of arms. <laughs> Hello. A torch? Yeah. Oh, huh. Oh, smells nice. Yeah, quite cozy look, eh? Yeah, it's warm in here. Where's the old graffiti then? Or is it too dark? Oh, you are, look. Got some. Nice neat bit over here. Yeah, J.R. Roberts. Well, they took a while carving that. Flattened off the area. Well, there's symbols in the middle of the J.R. Roberts next to the and above the Gibson. Is it some numbers really, really fancy with? God, yeah, there's loads. There's loads. Cool. Oh, look, a tiny writing sort of over here, even. It's covered.
He's Eddie. Where am I? Hi! <laughs> Mummy's in a cave. <laughs>